مستر ليبك تيم ليدر جي اف اي كونسالتنج جروب جي ام بي اتش فور ان اي بي ار دي بروجكت فروم يور اكسبيرينس هاو وي ار وركينج بيزد اون ذا امباكت اي مين ذا تكنيكال ادوكيشن اون ذا امباكت اوف كوفيد 19 اون فيوتشر سكيلز Thank you. I have a short presentation I will make use of. Well, first of all, a um, uh, few elements uh, coming from uh, a World Economic Forum. Uh, one uh, uh, figure that is really interesting in the last uh, report is that uh, by 2025, uh, all employees will need a reskilling. And uh, effectively, it has been said uh, already today that uh, uh, there's a need uh, to, uh, to have a change. Uh, well, if you see from the free uh, report uh, beginning in 2015, uh, skills, uh, needs of uh, skills are changing. Well, uh, uh, definitely, well, there are four types of skills, problem solving, self-management, working with people, and the last that has been already uh, said, at uh, technology use and development. And if you see all, all these elements, these are really uh, what are the needs uh, uh, for, for the coming years. Uh, we are currently working for Egypt uh, uh, for a project uh, that is dealing to, uh, to understand uh, what has been the impact of uh, COVID-19, uh, but on the future skills requirement and to also understand what should be the reprioritization of the strategy in Egypt. But in the same time, we are also trying to understand uh, uh, what are the needs from uh, different countries of destination uh, in Europe uh, uh, and in other countries like I say, uh, UAE and also Canada. Uh, and to understand uh, well, uh, uh, how Egypt and, uh, uh, can, uh, can make sure to, uh, to provide uh, some qualified person because there uh, are needs. And this is what our study is, uh, is uh, trying to show uh, currently. I have a few slides, and, and first thing uh, you have to consider is that there are uh, very high needs uh, in all countries. Uh, uh, even in some countries that are not uh, so, uh, we are not thinking for Egypt, such as uh, Czech Republic or Romania or other countries. So uh, uh, with the first findings we have currently, uh, we see that there are needs, and uh, in fact, we are not the only uh, 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 persons working on, on uh, 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 regular migration and uh, also care for employment pathways. Uh, there are also people from GIZ in Egypt and uh, TAM project, and that are, are dealing with Germany, and we are trying to provide recommendations for Egypt to understand uh, how it could be done for other countries, and not only and uh, not only, uh, I would say, with uh, uh, not only, I would say, with uh, um, uh, Germany. So, if you see, uh, there are uh, very uh, needs uh, for, for qualified Egyptians abroad, uh, and there's uh, uh, currently a strategy to, uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to to deal with these uh, uh, to deal with these needs, and we are currently assessing uh, according to the sectors that has been identified. How Jeep could, uh, could organize regular migration or circular uh, migration. Uh, the idea of circular migration is really interesting in the way that uh, uh, people can go in some countries and coming back with uh, some uh, experience that gain abroad. And this is a win win situation, not only for Jeep, uh, but as a high uh, level of uh, uh, persons uh, that have a need uh, of qualified jobs. And uh, it could be uh, really interesting. So we are working uh, in all countries, and I was su really surprised uh, uh, to uh, uh, with the high levels of uh, of, uh, of needs uh, uh, and the uh, level of vacancies in the five years firm. If we are taking uh, France and Italy, there are more than uh, six million uh, vacancies, and despite the uh, issues of of migration in these countries, uh, well. Uh, uh, there's a, a real need of, of qualified uh, uh, person. So definitely uh, uh, the work that is currently doing Egypt uh, uh, to, uh, to qualify uh, uh, young Egyptians to, to be able to, uh, to work abroad is something really interesting. 
And if you, uh, you consider uh, one country like UK, uh, it's uh, even more. Yeah? You have more than eight million vacancies. Uh, for sure, Brexit uh, is uh, one of the reasons. And, and, uh, and for, for uh, a skilled person, and especially uh, the care uh, sector, and it's in the in the case for all all uh, I would say European countries, it's really uh, 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 it's really uh, where their needs. Globally, if I'm dealing with all the countries, uh, care industry is a, a key element. IT industry also, and depending on the countries, where well, there are different uh, uh, needs, uh, uh, whether in uh, manufacturing or agriculture. And we, uh, we are dealing also with, uh, with Canada, and uh, well, we, we did the work for Russia, but for sure currently uh, 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 this, is, uh, this is on hold. But all these, uh, um, all these uh, figures to show that, uh, well, there are, uh, in uh, most of, of the countries, uh, uh, high level of vacancies, there are needs of qualified workforce, and, and the purpose of the uh, study we are currently uh, doing is making sure that uh, uh, um, uh, Egypt uh, uh, will uh, will organize a way to have a, a regular model for uh, for uh, and governance for 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 uh, regular migration, and this is uh, something really important in, in the next uh, uh, stage. Thank you for for your attention. Uh, thank you, Mr. Lloyd.